Last Friday in our stock talk, there was some talk that Broadcom was making a surge and going to challenge NVIDIA for the provider of GPUs in the future. And, and I hadn't heard of anything like that. And then in my mailbox this, this morning, I, I get this article, Broadcom catching up to NVIDIA in segment uh, C City finds after uh, latest chip survey. Really? Okay, so uh, I, I took notice and I went ahead and read the article because the article basically comes out and says that uh, Citigroup and several others are, are seeing that Broadcom is going to put some pressure on NVIDIA and may pull back some of NVIDIA's, NVIDIA's or NVIDIA's dominance in the sector. Okay, so what I understand in business, and I've been in business for quite some time, you go in business for the purpose of making money, and you have a product or a service to sell. So, in essence, what they're telling me is that Broadcom chip is going to replace or diminish the uh, dominance of NVIDIA in the future. Okay. So they go through this article and they, they highlight several other companies and I want to bring it to your attention and then I want to take and share with you how I analyze stocks on my bus 13 and bus uh, 12 and bus 11 portfolios. I analyze them based on their ability to do what I, they went into business to do and that is to make money. In my interpretation of business, uh, profits are expressed in earnings per share. That then translates into the price of the share uh, as a multiple of the P.E. ratio. So if you can determine the historical P.E. ratio and apply that to the future earnings per share, you've got the price of the stock. And that's what we're all in it for. At least that's what I'm in it for. So I created this chart. I went through each of the companies that they referenced in the article, one by one, and what I did was I went to Seeking Alpha and Zacks and looked up what their projected earnings per share were in 24, 25, 26, and 27, took an average, and then the far right problem I'll explain to you is a little different. So I look at Broadcom and it says they're projecting their earnings per share in 2024 will go up 12%, 25 27 percent, 26, 15 percent, and 27, 23 percent. Then I took the, an average of those, and so they're saying they are going to increase their earnings an average of 19 percent per year for the next four years. With that being said, then I did the same thing for each of the stocks, and you can see NVIDIA came up on an average of 184, uh, NXPI 10, uh, ADI, that's analog devices, 7, Texas Instruments, 11, um, AMD, 38, uh, MCHP, that's microchip technology, is an average of 13, uh, Micron, an average of 282, and ARM, an average of 4. That's an average annual return a, a gain on their earnings per share. Now, I, I looked at that and said, well, that's not really fair because actually 24 is already figured into their price. So we need to take 24 out and just do the average on 25, 26, and 27 to give us a future growth potential. Now Broadcom is 22%. Now that's not bad. To, to grow your business 22% per year is very respectable. And in fact, it puts you in a, in a, de a separate class because the S&P will grow on average somewhere around 11%, whereas the Dow will be eight. So Broadcom go, growing at 22% from 25 through 27 is very respectable. We then see that, that NVIDIA, because we dropped out the 572, is down to 54%. That's, that's very good. That tells you you will double your money every two years. Then we come up to NXP, which is 13. Uh, analog Devices, 22. Texas Instrument, Instruments, 23. Advanced Micro, 40. That's almost as good as, as NVIDIA. It'll take you about two and a half years to double your money in advanced, advanced micro devices. And then um, M 
MC, Microchip Technologies. That's at 32. Again, very respectable. I mean, this is this will kick the butt of Ford and and, uh, and GM, and then Micron. Micron is heavily weighted because they are anticipating 25 their earnings per share to go up 709 percent then go uh uh it will drop to 36 and then it'll go, go to a negative 16 so that tells me that i probably want to sell it somewhere in the early parts of 2027 unless they come back in uh, subsequent earnings reports and raise that number. That's the key, that we have to be uh, attuned. We have to hit, have our ear to the ground. We have to att attend earnings calls. We have to subscribe to all the, the services that give us the projections on growth of earnings per share so that we can keep up with it. And then ARM uh, drops or comes up to a future growth of about 26 percent and that's because we dropped off the um the the negative 60 in 2024 again very respectable uh i would say the only one that isn't that uh is not really uh strong in its 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 growth is NXP, and as a matter of fact, um, their earnings just came out last night, and their guidance is not good, and the stock is down today. So I would not be considering NXP. I definitely want to own Micron until um, 2027, or actually it'll be the end of 2026, if they continue to say they're going to drop their earnings per share by 16% in 2027. But I will know that but on, in the meantime, it, it's, a, it's in my portfolio. It's strong, as is NVIDIA, as is, um, uh, let's see, as is uh, AMD. So that's my three takes. Uh, will I add Broadcom? Will I take it? Because in 25, it's up 27, 15, and 26, 23, and, and 27. If I got no better choices... You know, we only have so much money, and if you believe in the system, then you want to put your money uh, where it will give you the greatest return. At this point, I'm sorry, um, Chris, who wrote the article for um, the uh, uh, Seeking Alpha News editor, no, I don't think I want any Broadcom. No, I don't believe that Broadcom is replacing uh, NVIDIA. But I'll keep my ear to the ground, and if I see that Jensen is saying, hey, we're getting our butt kicked, I'll probably reconsider my decision. I said, I had a question. Do you put more emphasis on your financial analysis? I would say that's how I, I look for the big winners. Uh, then from that point, I use technical analysis to find, are they price, overpriced right now, and if there is some... Uh, adversity that might be introduced to the market, where might they drop to? And maybe that's my buy-in price. As I say, I'm already in uh, NVIDIA, um, um, AMD, and, and Micron. But if it, look, with these numbers, if uh, AMD and Micron pull back, I, I need to be adding to my holdings. And that's done through technical analysis. That's looking at the momentum of the market, uh, the momentum of the stock, uh, the, the reaction to any adverse uh, situations, or, as I have said, sometimes these stocks actually create some uh, self-inflicted wounds, or what I call potholes. Sometimes they recognize they need to make a major change in their business. And that if you look back at, at Micron, uh, you'll see that. Uh, they had a very bad 2024 because they were retooling their memory chips to adapt to NVIDIA's GPUs. Now, you need to understand, with every GPU and CPU, there has to be a memory chip. A CPU and a GPU are workers who don't remember what they just did, okay? So you got to you got to attach a a memory chip to them to whisper in their ear and say you did that before and this was your results, okay? That's that's what Micron is. And there are other mic there are other memory chips, but they're Samsung uh, and um, another Korean company that I don't have access to buy. So uh, 
Hyperlex or something like that. You can look it up. Okay, I'm Kerry Grinkmeyer. I'm a retired financial advisor. I share this information on my website, Best of Us Investors. I share these kind of graphs and these kind of projections um, in on my cheat sheet. And uh, right now we are offering a 14-day free trial because I want you to I, I want you to say to, to take to take a look at it, take a run with it, show up at two of our stock talks, and you decide. Does this does this kind of analysis, does financial analysis supported by technical analysis telling you where to buy and where to sell and where to hold, does that make sense? And and understand, I, I was a financial advisor for many years, built one of the largest uh, firms in um, the Ameripies system, but I didn't have this data available to me. I couldn't go to the internet and, and subscribe to a number of access points, Seeking Alpha, Trading Views, Zacks, uh, and, and about four others, so that I can digest this, so that I can get emails like this, and, and go through and analyze what other people are thinking, and come to my own conclusion, and then share that conclusion with you. I hope you have a great day. Uh, it looks like the market's kind of coming settled a bit more. Uh, I think our political situation is going to get even more interesting, but we don't talk politics here. We're here to make money.